pregnancy symptoms strike again. Unfortunately, we're trying to find something that Hannah wants to eat, and all she's in the mood for is pizza. So we're gonna go buy a frozen pizza from Smith's. I'm bringing it back here, heat it up, and hopefully she can eat it in time for uh, Relief Society in 55 minutes. So we're gonna go to the store, we're gonna grab a frozen pizza, come back, and hopefully have enough time for her to eat. Does that sound good? Society visits, I'm in charge of cleaning the guest room. As you can see, it is a huge mess over here. And we gotta get this room ready for the baby come November, so I figured now is a good time to clean it up. What would be the point of cleaning up without some music to listen to while I'm doing it? Alrighty. All done. And the desk is clean, all the ground you can finally see it, the closet is clean. Now we just need to find a place to put the crib and possibly design the room a bit, which will be exciting. Hannah's attempting to put shoes on while she's pregnant. <laughs> it's proving very, Thank very you difficult. Thank you for filming this thing. Well, I could either A, film this, or B, help you, and I'd rather film this. Wow. <laughs> we have no food in our house. We are at that point where it's getting desperate Hannah just ate the two ends of a piece of bread. The butts. The butts to make a, a sandwich because bread. her husband ate the other two pieces of bread. <laughs> Out of my on. lunch. Yeah, we're gonna be going to Costco to get food, oh. but we're gonna have a challenge. We have to get food that Hannah's gonna wanna eat. Yep. We could come home with some really weird stuff. We probably will come home with some weird stuff. <laughs> Hannah and I have argued about this before, but it's very important for me to get a really good parking spot. It has to be close to Costco. So I would rather pull in, see one that's semi-close, you know, whatever, I'll take it. You pull in, you walk into Costco, like within two minutes of driving into the parking lot. Ryan nope. will circle the parking lot. Has to be a good spot. Until he sees a close one where I could already be in shopping. We're still driving around in the car. No, nope. so, mine's closer. I'm next to a cart dispenser place. Between <laughs> it's better. Ryan and I. Costco has some jackets on sale for twenty bucks. Like, what would a coat like this normally cost at like REI? Probably oh what gosh. eighty bucks. Oh, yeah, at the very least. For the same quality. Uh, probably. <laughs> Costco, you can do no wrong. It's really amazing. Not. Anna is trying to find fruit or vegetables that she'd like to eat. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> so Hannah, was it successful? I would say so. <laughs> Our cart is like overflowing. I just grabbed what sounded good. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. We paid more for food than we've ever done at Costco before. <laughs> for like random stuff to hopefully entice Hannah to eat it. Are we in the wrong? Yes. Yep. We couldn't find our car. Remember how we parked a really good spot? Yeah, I couldn't find it. <laughs> wow, what a surprise. <laughs> it was still a good spot though. So we are at the Utah County Fair. Behind me is the monster truck rally. You can't tell, but there's a stadium back there. So I had a summer bucket list that I made like late July, so it was a little late. On it was going to a fair because I grew up going to the Puyallup Fair before I got old and had to do like college and stuff. And it's sentimental for me. So found out that the Utah County Fair was this weekend. So here we are.
it's Saturday morning and I'm making a morning. It's not an omelet. I guess it's scrambled eggs, but ever since we got married, Ryan's called it egg stuff. So I'm making egg stuff. So we have zucchini and red bell peppers and onions and some bacon. Should be tasty. I love Saturdays. Last night we went to the Utah County Fair in Springville. Uh, the fair sucked. <laughs> there were no rides. The yeah. food was bad. Limited. We didn't Very... try it. So when we say bad, it was just like you walked around and it's kind of like... And, and then they yeah. had the monster truck and you had to pay to get in. But when we walked up, it was already halfway through the show and no one was there. So we just walked in. So we yep. got to go watch the show for free. And it was awesome. Yeah, it was fun. It's fun. It was loud. It was crazy. Everything was just so over the top. Like the announcer guy was crazy. He kept saying... The same thing. <laughs> we got uh, That poor guy must do shows all throughout the United States. <laughs> First was, make some noise. And then second was, we love you, Utah. We love you. We love you, Utah. Well, we love you. Make some noise. We love you. Make some noise. We love you. Make some noise, Utah. And that's all he said for the entire show. It was excellent. A few weeks ago, I was talking to a friend of mine who's owned a drone for about a year. I told him that I got the new DJI drone. The first thing he asked me was, have you crashed it yet? And I was like, no, why the heck would I crash it? Today I crashed it and I crashed it in one of the worst places possible at the top of a mountain. I don't know if you can see, but below me, that is my parents' house. And I attempted to fly my drone over this mountain. I was flying it, I thought I could overreach it, and I shot too low, and I ran it into the mountain. So I've spent the last 20, 25 minutes hiking up to the very top while Hannah is at the bottom waiting for me. So let's survey the damage. The drone actually, I think it's okay. The camera's fine and everything, but now I know why they give me the extra propeller. This propeller here is blown to bits. So I'm gonna hike down this mountain, take another 15 minutes or so, and hopefully it works when it gets to the bottom. So we are running a little bit late, but we are on the way to see Christian Jones, who's a guy who works at my company, and also I knew freshman year, who's performing at a local theater here, uh, West Side Story. So we're gonna see him. And Andrew, my friend from freshman year as well, knew him, so he's coming along with his wife. So we're just a tiny bit late. It starts in five minutes, but That's the amphitheater? we're gonna get a spot. Yeah. Say hi, everybody. Oh, it's a video? Yeah. yeah. Pregnant. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>